In 1807, Charles Marsh, a successful lawyer and businessman, built his house on a rise of land overlooking his town of Woodstock, Vermont. Like other homes that have survived two centuries, its owners lived at different times, had different names, and never met. But here in this place, because they shared a common vision, they were inalterably related. George Marsh, scientist, linguist, diplomat, conservationist. Frederick Billings, lawyer, financier, industrialist, conservationist. Lawrence Rockefeller, entrepreneur, philanthropist, public servant, conservationist. Three families whose lives spanned the life of the Republic and whose vision of man's relationship with nature was shaped by this small place in this Vermont Valley. <laughs>